Temple of Warm. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom of America, known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, because they are the elders. Okay? They the ones that taught y'all niggas the truth in the first place. And salutations to all the Akim out there pushing the word and truth and sincerity, man. Yeah, bring it out, man. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 18, verse 18. They said, Salakia, then said they, come and let us devise devices against Jeremiah. Yeah, man, and that's you niggas, man. That's you two-thirds of Israel, man. That includes Polite, that includes Sarnetta, and your fake ass bloods and crips, man. Your fake ass, bitch ass bloods and crips talking about y'all gonna bang on the middle of the Lord, man. Bunch of bullshit ass niggas, man. Y'all the same niggas that was back then trying to persecute and, and kill Jeremiah, man. Y'all the same niggas that was out back then killing the prophets. Yeah, that, that slug, y'all. That shit don't even sound right. How you saying you gonna bang on men of the Lord, man? Dudes with Bibles in their hands, man. I show y'all some clowns, man. Nothing we do is carnal, man. We don't come out here carnally, man. We'll, we'll handle your ass if, if you want it like that. But we coming out here preaching this word to wake up the elect of Israel, man. That's right. And if you if you're not if you feel like you're not part of the elect, the scripture's not for you, you can't agree on it, you don't you you ain't about that. Fuck you, man. You ain't got to listen to what we got to say. Uh, ain't nobody forcing you, nigga. That's right. That's right. About to say, that show you that, that we doing the right works, man. Because them same niggas that, want, that claim they want to bang on us and kill us, man. Those are the same motherfuckers screaming, crucify him, crucify him. Let, our, let the blood be upon us and our children, man. That was the same ones trying to bang on your shot, man. That was the same niggas back then trying to kill Moses. The same niggas back there trying to kill Samuel, man. The Lord got something, a big ass whooping for you niggas, man. Like me and the brother just talking, man. This this is judgment day, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody, look, if you part of the elect, Lord willing, you part of that number, you're going to make it out of here. But if you part of the two-thirds, you're going to get your ass beat, and then you're going to get put to death, man. That's right, man. Go ahead. Okay. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 18, verse 18. Then said they, come, and let us divide, let us devise devices against Jeremiah. For the law shall not perish from the priests, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from a prophet. Yeah, man, are we telling you niggas out there, man, that all the, all the bullshit your pastor's telling you, all these false prophets, all your so-called wise men in Egyptology, y'all think y'all wise, all that shit is coming to naught, man. All that shit is coming to naught because it is of men, man. That shit is temporary. But the words of the Most High endure forever. Not only is it of men, it's of so-called white men, Edomites. So it says, come. Come and let us smite him with the tongue, and let us not give heed to any of his words. Yeah, man, and that's you niggas talking shit about the prophets. Oh, call, call it Elder Hall. Oh, oh, he a white boy. Y'all got a white boy as your leader. Y'all, you niggas ain't spiritual whatsoever, man. Run, run in your mouth like a little bitch. That's what you niggas are, man. You two-third niggas in Israel. Y'all a bunch of bitch-ass niggas, man. Right. Yeah, bring it out. 19. Mm -hmm. Verse 19. Give heed to me, O Lord, and hearken to the voice of them that contend with me. Verse 20. Shall evil be recompensed for good? Yeah, man, we ain't done nothing to you niggas out here, man. We ain't done we ain't done nothing. We ain't done nothing uh bad to you niggas. We done we done good to you, man. We told y'all that y'all was the Israelites. We told y'all the name of the Most High and his son. We told you to keep the commandments. We told you to keep the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
We told you to come out here and do the work. Get your house in order. We telling y'all the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. But you, you got y'all. Y'all wanna y'all wanna ride on the men of the Lord, man. Y'all wanna bang on the men of the Lord. Well, guess what? The Most High gonna bang on your ass with nuclear destruction. Right. right? Verse twenty. Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have dig a pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them mm -hmm. and to turn away the wrath from them. Yeah, man, we're telling you this so hopefully if, if there's elect amongst y'all, y'all can repent. But this is how y'all repay us. That's fine. That's all good, man. Yeah, bring it out. This is Romans 8 and... Romans 8, verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High. For it is not subject to the law of of the most high, neither indeed can be. Yeah, man. You carnal ass niggas, man, you, with y'all carnal ass mind, you guys are at enmity with your how about shimmy I will shine, man. Right? You are at enmity with the supreme emperor of the universe. Right. You ain't about that life, man. Yeah. If you if you want to be an enemy of your how about shimmy I will shine, the Lord got a sore destruction for your ass, man. Right. And I can't wait to see two thirds of Israel die, man. Right. Bodies need to start dropping in this, in this bitch, man, because you people, you niggas have no fear whatsoever. No integrity whatsoever, man. If I can say, these motherfucking two thirds got fear, but they got fear in Esau, man. How the fuck y'all gonna fear a cre uh, How the fuck y'all gonna fear the creature rather than fear the creator, man? Y'all gonna fear somebody that could put. Your flesh to death, man. Why not fear the one that can put your flesh and your um your spirit to death, man? You want to know why? Because they carnally minded, That's man. That's right. Because if they were spiritually minded, they'll be like, okay, wait, hold up. Yeah, how about Shimei Shai? He created the heavens and the earth. Okay, he sent his prophets out to prophesy to Israel so we could repent. You know, the Most High created our spirit. He can't. He could. He could kill you, but he could do worse than killing you. He could torture you. He could torture your mind. He could torture your spirit. Let me not buck up against the men of the Lord, but y'all y'all don't think like that, man. You niggas are not rational whatsoever, man. Irrational. You guys are irrational brute beasts, man. Animals. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Yeah, man. Though we walk in the flesh, we don't war after the flesh, man. You don't see us buying guns. We don't come out here with guns and knives. We don't come out here with no jujitsu or karate. We got a spiritual karate for your ass, man. Uh -huh. we, got a, we got a spiritual clip. We got a spiritual lightsaber to cut your ass apart, man. Come and fuck with it, man. If you want to deal with the scripture, we'll cut your ass up. Verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. Yeah, man, they mighty through Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. That's the weapons of our warfare, man. The name and the truth of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the man of war, man. Right. Talking about you gang banging. Mate, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, bang on your bitch ass, man. Right. Oh, that's it? Go back to Jeremiah. You think you could bang against the men of the Lord? You think you could do that? The Pharaoh tried, man. <laughs> Pharaoh and his army, the whole army of Egypt, they tried. Where the fuck they at, man? Skinny dipping, man. Jeremiah, <laughs> 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 verse 18, 
chapter 18, verse 21. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start back up and put him back in context. Hey, bring it out. I, I ain't got no problem. Jeremiah 18, verse 20. Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have digged a pit for my soul. Right. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them and to turn away thy wrath from them. Mm. Verse 21. Mm. Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine. Them black babies gonna die. That's what Jeremiah said. Read it again. Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine. Yeah, man, your little pooky, your little spooky, okay? Your, your, little, your little snickerdoodle baby, that baby gonna die of famine, man. And pour out their blood by the force of the sword. And let their wives be bereaved of their children. Yeah, man, them, that black queen, that black goddess, that dumb, stupid bitch that you worship so much, that bitch gonna be crying in them days, man. That's right. If she God, then when martial law come, make, make the martial law troops disappear. Bring all them babies that she killed at the, at the abortion clinic back to life. If she could do that shit. And be widows. And let their men be put to death. Yeah, man, you, you young niggas out there, y'all gonna get put to death, man. That, 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 that goes to show that, that, that this fucking Mike Brown, all right, polite, you know, you little, you little emotional ass bitch. It's fucking Mike Brown, it's fucking Eric Garner, man. Yeah. Because if them niggas was right, they would not have fit that uh, description and be getting put to death, man, because they would have been acting right in the eyes of the Most High, man.